Hey, what's up? What's going on? It's your girl Mary Jane. Please like, subscribe to my YouTube channel. Be greatly appreciated from the bottom of my heart. My peeps, my peoples. So anyways, let's get into the story about Jocelyn Hernandez from Love & Hip Hop. What do you guys think about Jocelyn Hernandez's rant against Mona Scott? Saying that Mona Scott wanted her to act up. The producers wanted them to act up. The producers wanted them to be mad, to be upset. Um, the fight with other cast members to just go into it with other cast members and to be outrageous to play a character so do you believe jocelyn hernandez was playing a character or is she really um out of control is she really allegedly you know used drugs but i'm not going to excuse jocelyn hernandez behavior towards stephen jay's daughter eva um her co-signing or her paying allegedly for this for this um family member to say these awful things that Stevie J um, did not do to his daughter, um, Eva. So it's like, you know, um, Jocelyn had good seasons, three to four years on Love and Hip Hop, and she's been on the show. You know, they tolerated her behavior. If she was so bad and she was so out of control and she was so violent and they couldn't control her and, all you know, all the money goes to security trying to protect everybody else, then why didn't they ask her to leave the show? Because, you know, Young Bird, they asked him to leave the show. They asked Soldier Boy to leave the show. When someone shows violent behavior, usually they ask them to leave the show. Or if they show violent behavior um, off camera and it's in the media, they're asked to leave the show. So what my point, what I don't get and what I don't understand is why now there's just such this big, you know, hoorah, hoorah between Jocelyn Hernandez and um, VH1, Love and Hip Hop Atlanta. It's like they condoned her behavior. They appreciate her behavior. They gave her everything that she wanted. Now, all of a sudden, it's like she is terrible. She is awful. I don't, I'm not down with Jocelyn in any shape or form, but it's just like, it seems like, you know, this is all about, um, you know, when you get fired from a job or you leave a job, there's always either negative or positive things that happen. So it's just like, seems like it's so negative, but she was kind of like her and Stevie J was like the stars of Love and Hip Hop for a few years. Um, now that we, now that we're watching Love and Hip Hop, we can see that they can actually maneuver their way and put other people to be in stock to be stars of the show and add more drama to the show but it also seems like they condoned her behavior they helped her behavior because you know Althea Althea and you know um whatever his name with the neck he left um Benzino left you know Love and Hip Hop after you know the big you know showdown at the reunion show and you know I know they did file lawsuits or whatever but they still didn't ask Jocelyn to leave they still had her on the show and she still was um doing the same behavior so why all of a sudden is a problem is it because of money that she wants more money because Jocelyn did have some valid points when she said you know Love and Hip Hop really kind of destroyed um Rashida and um Kurt Frost marriage or whatever but you know Kurt, Kurt he stuck his penis where it shouldn't have belonged at the time when he's a married man and he just de he decided not to wrap it up and then on top of that he gave um Jasmine hush money so it's like kind of not a good argument because he kind of did these things and they kind of let it happen they wanted it to be filmed they continued to participate on the show just like jocelyn if jocelyn if you was upset with the way production made you look the way when you watched the show and you didn't like the way you was being betrayed why didn't you leave the show why why would you stay on the show where they were tainting your image for you not to be able to get contracts with different other organizations as you said over the weekend so it's just kind of like a lot of mumbo jumbo and I'm just trying to see where where the truth kind of like lies at. Is it now because um, you're not getting the money that you want to get? It's all of a sudden a problem because before the way that you was being portrayed on Love and Hip Hop, you was like, I'm the Puerto Rican princess, I'm the Puerto Rican, I'm this, I'm that. And you're all over the place doing shows with Stephen J representing that you're from Love and Hip Hop. Even on the show, you was like, you're the baddest bitch. And it's like you like that image. And all of a sudden, now you don't like that image. Is it because you don't like that image because now you want to move up and the industry and, you know, and the media industry. Maybe you want to be an actor, I mean, an actress. Um, maybe you want to put out different type of music. I really never heard your music, so I don't know what type of music you would put out. 
So it, it is what it is in that situation. So it's just like, so why is, you know, Mona Scott all of a sudden um, painting Jocelyn in this horrific light, which we saw in the last episode where they showed films of Jocelyn just acting up and being um, combative with production and being combative with interview questions. But before all that was okay, it was like, boom, well, we got a hit. We got to, the ratings are going to go up on this, on this episode, Jocelyn's going to go I'll go go bananas because if you didn't want that to be shown all you had to do is delete the footage right and jocelyn you've been portraying this character the puerto rican princess and this violent um outrageous stuck up type of image why all of a sudden now it's a problem with you getting jobs in um at other places so is it it's, so did the baby really change you and you really want to do something different and you realize that the way that you act and you betrayed yourself on love and hip-hop you're not employable people don't want to employ you because of what they think that you might be or what you might become or you are rough around the edges you're difficult to deal with and all this other stuff and you like to fight and allegedly use drugs so you allow them to paint this image of you for over the years you and Stephen J and the money was okay so now all of a sudden it's like horrific and you feel like you know uh, Mona Scott has destroyed the destroyed a lot of Latinos people's career and black people's career because nobody else will want to hire you after being our love and hip hop. Well, you know, I, we always say K Michelle and it's probably um, prima donna. She went on to some other stuff, but I believe that you only can be portrayed in a certain light that you want to be portrayed in. And if you know that there's going to be editing, cutting footage and make and portraying you to look this way and that way, you have to take control of your behavior you have to con take control of yourself you got to take control of what you say and how you react to situations where you're not vo volatile where you're not violent so on that note i think mona made money off of you you made mona you made money off of mona so it's like now all this negative stuff coming from Mona, but Mona has a bigger platform and she's showing all these videos proving her point. So now Jocelyn, you have to do more to prove your point that you were taken advantage of and you was you was being used and if you were being taken advantage of or being used because you continue to film the show and you continue to act in these erotic behaviors. So let us know what's good. Anyways, my take on it is it went to Jocelyn head. And then the other take is Mona Mona feels like now, especially with the season, that she really doesn't need Jocelyn Hernandez that much. And if she's going to be difficult or she's going to be cu coming with drama and people don't want to film with her and production and co-workers don't want to work with her and security don't want to be around her, then, you know, Mona Scott's probably saying it's time to cut ties. But Jocelyn is the one originally announced that she was going to be leaving Love & Hip Hop. So let's see. What happens? Let's see if Jocelyn's going to be there next year. Mm.